Hello, today I'm going to talk about dilated cardiomyopathy in radiology. The definition for dilated cardiomyopathy is first one is left ventricular chamber dilation. Decreases systolic function less than 40%. Absent of coronal artery disease or condition that impose a chronic vessel overload. And sometimes there may be also the right ventricular dysfunction. Costs are related to intrinsic myocardial damage. Clinical can be present with dyspnea, fatigue, early satiety, cough, peripheral edema. In physical examination, we can find displaced apical and pus, auscultation found icy, jugular vein distension, dependent auscultatory crack hole in the basilar line segment, and pitting dependent peripheral edema. Pathology, the ventricles are dilated and poorly contracted high, with no more or reduced wall sickness. The atria may also have a similar appearance and function. Etiology can be caused by infection, for example, Kosaki virus, echo virus, adenovirus, bacteria, Diphtery, mycoplasma, listeria can be caused by infiltrative disease like sarcoid, amyloid, toxic, like uh, amphetamine, cocaine, ethanol, phenylpropanolamine, clozapine, Etc. And endocrine or metabolic disarrangements, something like uremia, hypocalcemia, hypophosphatemia, thyrotoxicosis, thiamine deficiency, in, for example, in case of red beriberi. Sometimes dilated cardiomyopathy can be caused by chemotherapy and other causes like peripartum or muscular dystrophy related to autoimmune disease. Sometimes we cannot find any cause, so we call it idiopathic, and sometimes because of familial cause. It usually associated sometimes with intracardiac thrombos. In plan radiograph, we can find enlarged life ventricle and atrial with pulmonary edema associated with pleural fusion. So here is the case of dilated cardiomyopathy. Let me look. Sorry. You can see here a large heart and increased pulmonary vascular marking. So this we can be considered about 
Và lên thích ca theo mèo pháp ấy. The same case. So we do diffusion study, also confirm validity cardiomyopathy. Another case, this patient comes with static and actual sort mass of breast. So in the graph, we see a large heart with congestive condition. In another case for a 14 years old man, the geographs are very, very, very enlarged and with minimal congestive. So beside the graph, we can do the echography. In the echography, we can let me about the degree of left ventricle dilatation depend on the stage of the disease and severity of left ventricle dysfunction. You can find Global ventricular chamber dilation. And then in that, we can find in the bit in left ventricle mass and volume. The ventricle maybe appears spherical with decreased length. You can find sometimes in case of secondary mitral recuperation. Systolic dysfunction. Gastric dysfunction. Right ventricular dysfunction. So it's a sample of we go at echo. It's so very, very large head. Especially we see the enlarged left ventricle. In left atrium. This image, so about uh, in a patient with your particularity cardiomyopathy. You see, very, very dilated right ventricle. This is also the case of idiopathic related cardiomyopathy. You see the late. Particular left ventricle and left atrium. This is another case. Of idiopathic dilated neuropathy. Similar apparent. So we have the, we found the very dilated life and record. And 
nên cả giờ hầm ở ấy especially in idiopathic related cardiomyopathy the left heart is markedly dilated and thin and mild and mid ball enhancement especially in the septum is present in more than 50% of patients That enhancement of all image may demonstrate the area of fibrosis within the myocardium, characterically in the mid or sub epicardial myocardium, allowing differentiation from ischemic cardiomyopathy. Here's the image of the MRI. We can see clearly dilated left ventricle along with dilated left atrium. Mimic condition like ischemic cardio or differential dialysis so we have to differentiate with mimic condition like ischemic cardiomyopathy or left ventricular aneurysm non-compaction cardiomyopathy left ventricular dilated due to valvular heart disease implant radiograph consider light pericardial infusion Treatment. Treatment. We can use medication in the aiming of first one control the heart rhythm, have the heart pump better, lower blood pressure, prevent blood clot, reduce fluid from the body. No medication like beta blocker, angle dancing, coverting enzyme, inhibitor, and angle dancing to receptor blocker. This is medication for anti uh, hypertension, and some medication for chronic heart failure, and some water pill medication and dicoxin and rarely we use evapradine and blood signal when medication cannot help we can use surgery like B ventricular pacemaker implantable cardio water the preparator, life and the assist device. If both medication and surgery cannot help, so we can use a transplant. Really. Thank you.